Grant Dawson might be the most unknown yet super dominant fighter that has ever fought in the UFC, at least in recent years. Like I'm looking back on this guy's career, he's had 10 fights now in the UFC. Well, tonight will be his 10th fight against Bobby Green. He has won eight of his fights in the UFC and went to a draw one time. So this guy has never lost in the UFC. He's been in the UFC now for a couple years. I think part of this problem might be because he started off at featherweight uh, for his first couple of fights and then moved up to lightweight. But he has notable wins at lightweight. Leonardo Santos, Jared Gordon, Demir Ismagulov. Like, he's got good wins. And the thing about this guy is his fights are fun. He's not a boring fighter, despite being more of a primarily grappling heavy wrestling fighter. This guy's very fun to watch. I went back and watched a lot of his fights uh, in preparation of making this video. And the dude just loves to fight. He loves to get in there and throw ground and pound, go for submission attempts. On the feet, he's a little bit more unorthodox. I don't want to really say sloppy. Uh, he does have a couple holes. He, he doesn't really move his head a whole lot. But the guy is fun, man. This guy comes to fight every time. And I've really enjoyed actually going back and watching these fights in preparation to make this video. He kind of reminds me a little bit of like that Aljamain Sterling type of fighter, like likes to take the back, hold back control, and then, you know, go for submissions. And if that's not working out, this dude throws a ton of ground and pound. I even went back and watched his Contender Series fight. Um, and that that was a hard fight to watch. That dude, he, I, he won the first round. It was probably a 10-8 round and then went out there in the second round and got a finish. So super impressive by Grant Dawson. This guy, like I was I was looking up some news about him too, and he recently said that he just feels like he hasn't had that big name yet. He hasn't beat that big name fighter. He hasn't really got that respect on his name. At least for me, he already has my respect after going back and watching these fights. Um, guy fights like an animal. Um, but yeah, I think he's onto something there. A lot of fans probably just don't know Grant Dawson because he hasn't had like that top 10 win or a big name. And that, that kind of leads me to tonight's fight. It doesn't really make sense for him to fight Bobby Green off a rankings perspective. Um, Bobby Green is unranked and Grant Dawson is ranked number 10. And he, Grant Dawson is on a pretty solid win streak here. I mean, you know, nine fights in the UFC, eight wins. You know, so that's pretty impressive. He should really be fighting someone above him. But I think he took this fight, and I think this is actually a really good fight for him to take because Bobby Green has a very big name, at least from the majority of MMA fans. A lot of people know Bobby Green. Bobby Green has a fun fight style. He has been in the UFC for quite a while. You know, he has fought some of the best names. He's fought uh, Islam. So Bobby Green, I think, is a really good test for Grant Dawson especially if you consider their styles. You know, this is the classic striker versus grappler matchup. And I do think Grant Dawson is going to win this. I really do. I think he is going to take Bobby Green down. I could see him striking with Bobby Green for a little bit to see, you know, how he feels. Uh, maybe he's been working on his striking, trying to tighten things up, be a little bit more technical. Um, and I, I could see him getting mixing things up with Bobby Green very well and then level changing during the middle of a striking exchange. I think he's going to be smart enough to know that he can't just go in there and shoot a blast double leg against Bobby Green. Bobby Green is, is, you know, he's not really in his physical prime anymore. He is, I think, 36 years old, so he's a little bit older. But Bobby Green could still defend a takedown very well. Um, and so Grant Dawson is going to know that. But I do pick Grant Dawson to win. I'm going to go by a second round submission. Uh, but I could also see him getting a first round submission or first or second round TKO via ground and pound. I think this guy is really fun and I really think he's slept on, man. I think this is going to be uh, one of the future top contenders at lightweight. And this just kind of goes to show how stacked the UFC lightweight division is. I mean, this is truly a stacked division. It, it always has been and it, it probably always will be if we're getting these new up and coming fighters, you know, like Grant Dawson, like Armand Sarukian, um, you know, even even Gamrot is, you know, he's a little bit older, but he's still new to the division. And, you know, he's all the way up there too. So lightweight is just so much fun. Um, and I think Grant Dawson is gonna have a really good career in the UFC. And I think this win over Bobby Green is really gonna put his name on the map for a lot of fans. And this is a really smart fight for him to take. But if you're going up the rankings, it makes no sense at all for him. So who do I think Bobby, or sorry, not Bobby Green, Grant Dawson should fight next? I would like to see Grant Dawson fight Hafiel Fazib once Fazib heals up and comes back. 
Now, granted, I don't know how long that's going to be, but hopefully it won't be too long. I think Fiziev is going to want to get back in there. And at this point, you know, he has lost the Justin Gaethje fight. He then lost the Gamrock fight. So, you know, he's on a two fight losing streak. He's going to have to fight down. He can't fight someone up in the rankings when he comes back. Assuming that Grant Dawson is still going to be under him. Um, when Fiziev does come back, I think that's a great fight to make. I, I think that's a really good fight to make. Normally, I don't like pairing two rising contenders up against each other, but Fiziev is kind of on the downfall a little bit. I mean, he did look good in that Gamrot fight and did lose it by Dr. Stoppage, of course, but he did lose two fights in a row, technically. So I think that's a great matchup. If Grant Dawson wants to stay active, say he beats Bobby Green and doesn't take very much damage, and Fiziev just can't come back to fight him yet. Uh, I don't think the Gamrot matchup is, is a bad one. Gamrot did win that last fight by a little bit of a fluke. So I think it would be good for Gamrot to get in there and prove himself against a contender who is closer to him in the rankings. You know, still below him, but a little closer. But anyways, guys, that's it for the video. If you stuck around to the end of the video, I really appreciate that, guys. Helps me out a ton um, for making these videos. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing as it helps me out tremendously. Guys, take it easy. I will see you in the next video. Peace.